Good morning everyone and welcome to day 11 of the Tuk Tuk tournament. So today Martin and I, we are doing the cultural integration day challenge. So meaning we have to dress up like a local for the whole day, meaning I have a mow now. So I fixed this up this morning and we both have sarongs. It's very hot in this attire, but and we didn't pick the best day to wear this because we're going to do a few hikes today, I think. Um, but we're getting out of the city now and heading back to Colombo. So we're slowly making our way back to Colombo um, and yeah, just completing a few challenges along the way. And hopefully we will stay, make our way to the top because I think we're currently fourth now. So hopefully we can get up there. But, and also, we've been working on a tournament song. So a tournament song is 20 gems. So I think I may have that finished by the end of tonight or tomorrow. But in the meantime, let's begin the day. trying to look for another challenge where it's like a fish bath. On the site, it says fish therapy, but the lady's like, no, we don't do fish therapy. So why have it on the site? Yes. Yes. Raban. Which one's a Raban? Yes. Oh, that Raban. one. Oh, ah, nice. Yeah. Three for a hundred. It seems like they have a lot of avocados like along the streets of Sri Lanka. And like they look pretty good actually. I, I just bought three for 100 rupee, which is like less than a dollar. But I actually managed to just peel most of the avocado and I could eat it like an apple. It's not bad, it's kind of, it's sweet. It's like sweeter than your normal avocado. I like avocado that much. I eat it like an apple. Cool. Hello. Is that a temple up there? We're off to see the temple, the temple on the rock. Woo! That wasn't even a, that wasn't even a far hike, but we're just dying in what we're wearing. It's extremely hot. This is the temple. And we got some, some crazy guard dogs over there. This is not even the hard hike for today. I think the one after this, it's gonna take a lot longer. We're exhausted already. Thank you. 
so we're on our way to hike up to the top of Bible Rock. So we are, we're asking a few locals of how to get here because usually when we drive to a certain mountain we always seem to get lost. So we're trying to follow the locals directions and majority of the locals we spoke to were telling us the wrong directions like the first one said you can't even drive up this road like it was just all mud road that we wouldn't be able to get up but it was bitumen the whole way um, and then the second locals we asked Martin ended up getting pickpocketed <laughs> He's one of the guys there was two guys one of them stole his phone and while he was wearing a sarong but luckily impressed with him <laughs> but there was another guy with him um, and like it was his mate I think and he ended up just grabbing his phone back out of his pocket and just gave it to us and we're like what what Who? when did you steal that and then coming up here such a steep drive coming up and there's like this little old lady she was walking for ages to get to her place so because we picked her up and gave her a drive up to where she was but she was at least a few hundred meters really got to give props to all the old ladies around this village but yeah not too sure how far it is but it's looking pretty steep well we just made it to the top of this beautiful mountain but then now it starts pissing down rain the second we got up here ah you can't even freaking see the view now, it's just too cloudy and wet. Literally the second we got up, this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is ridiculous. A throng is just instantly drenched. And we still have to wear these around for the whole entire day. Oh, Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, how about this view? Oh. Oh, yeah. I was going to fly my drone, but I don't think that's an option now. Yeah. At least we have shelter. We've got a little bit of shelter. Still there until the rain clears out. It's very convenient this is here. It's actually quite crazy. Oh, wow, wow, wow. It's actually quite crazy how quick the weather can change around here. Like before we even started the track, it was beautiful, sunny, clear day. And then the second we got up, the clouds just started flying out. Look at it, you can actually see the clouds are just rolling over right now. And then bucketing down rain. Oh my God. Weather around this time is very unpredictable. Look at this, look at this view. It should be better than this. Why? And within 100 meters of walking back this direction, it's cleared up again. Why did it have to rain? Why we're up here? Look at this, it's perfect. I'm gonna fly my drone now.
after driving around at night trying to look for a place we have found an amazing accommodation like we never know what the hell we're gonna rock up into because we're literally just driving to the closest sort of accommodation in the area and hoping that they actually have free spots but this one here is called mango roots and it's only just one single bed but it is a great room and the hospitality of the people here are so friendly like they have just gone out of their way to make sure we've had the best experience and like they it, they keep saying like if you have any questions please let me know and i'll show you where to go and what to do but yeah if if you're in this area this is like 30 kilometers uh east of the international airport definitely check out Manga Roots because it's such a great place and great hospitality. But tomorrow we're going to be making our way back to Colombo. So as I said, we've probably got maybe another 50 kilometers to get to Colombo. Um, and yeah, we've got another two full days left, guys. Two full days left of the Tuk Tuk tournament. I'm really been enjoying this tournament, but I am looking forward till it to end because I am exhausted. But in the meantime, I will see you guys in day day 11 or day 12, whatever day it is. So thanks for watching. Follow your dreams, skate your camper zone, and see you tomorrow.